Hi, I got a Modern Pines beer, Fortunate Island. So this is, I think, one of their more popular beers, um, but their beers only get shipped here every once in a while, not the full lineup. This is a hoppy wheat ale. It's a hoppy tropical pale ale on here. A lot, a lot of um, people or sites say the style is uh, American pale wheat ale. And this one is dry hopped with Citra and Amarillo. I feel like maybe it didn't always have Citra in there because a lot of people compare this with like um, Gumball Head from Three Floyds. That's a a very Amarillo and intense uh, pale wheat ale that's been around for a long time and very beloved. This uses wheat malt Turo and caramel Vienna. And it's 5% alcohol. It is the June 15th batch, so this is just a little bit over a month old. I was happy that I found some fresh can of this, because I've probably had one can when it was first ever shipped out here, and I haven't been able to find it fresh or even find it at all. And in the summertime, I always get into the wheat beers. So this has pretty good carbonation. It's just a little bit hazy. And I think it is very appropriate to put in my Spuds McKenzie glass here. <laughs> and I wonder if it was always this hazy. I guess it looks like, you know, a lot of Hefeweizens or other American Pale Wheat Ales, 312, those sorts of things. I'm just hoping that it is nice and dry. Whew, very, very orangey. I almost wish it was more Amarillo forward, but the Amarillo is definitely in there. I get that green, resinous, myrcene, kind of edging on sap, but not like quite piney, like Centennial. And the Citra is pulling it a little bit into the tropical area, but it's just mostly like all kinds of orange, orange juice, orange pith, orange zest. And a little bit of a Slightly toasty sweet cereal. It's kind of surprising that they use a little bit of Vienna in there. I guess that gives it a little bit of color. But a lot of these these wheat ales, pale wheat ales, don't use any like dark specialty malt at all. Yeah, it's pretty good. Kind of. It is sweet though. I wish that it didn't have that. Like caramel malt in there and maybe this isn't quite cold enough this beer was in my fridge for hours but it's real hot and just that extra sweetness in the citra is making it not exactly what i was hoping for but if you want something that's um you know a little bit closer to a hazy juicy session ipa it's kind of like that a bit obviously not murky at all. This wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. I think I like Gumball Head more. It's um a little bit more bitter and less sweet, I think. But this is pretty good. I say restrained bitterness. 40 IBUs. I would even guess lower than that. It does have a pretty good feel. That's one thing I like about the, a lot about wheat beers is they have a nice soft feel. This isn't the softest. It's not like Oberon. Yeah, I probably prefer Oberon over this actually. Though that one is not nearly as hoppy and not dry hopped. But I should, yeah, I should get some Oberon and do a comparison. Maybe in a different mood I'd, I'd be more into this, but I just want something drier, more refreshing. Nothing exactly wrong with it. Just not quite to my taste, but it probably still deserves like close to a four or something. Um, but I'm a little bit disappointed. Bye bye.